So what I found coming from the hotel industry is that during the colder months, a lot of groups, they just don't know what to do with their teams because they think it's cold, it's too cold to be outside, or they want to get together and they want to do something fun, but again, they feel like it's too cold. I like to help them overcome that challenge by giving them other options to be able to put into their sales packet and help the groups have a better time while they're there and also help the hotels sell more packages for them. I think that a lot of the reason is because sometimes people have a hard time looking outside the box. So they see a place and they're like, this is just what we can do. But they don't realize that there's so many other events that can be brought to them that can happen inside or that we are a team that can come and still bring the team outside. Bundle up, let's go out, Catch, have a snowball fight, do something like that. So I think that's really what we bring to the table. Present these to their potential clients. Create that, which a lot of the hotels already have. So it's just a matter of sending it to their clients. Hey, we have these really great things that you can do while you're here through the winter months. Let's bring in that casino or let's do an ice carving. Ice carving doesn't necessarily need to be outside. We line the floors, make sure that everything's okay for them to do it inside. So people don't have to feel like they have to be freezing outside if they don't want to. And again, bundle up. We had a large group that we worked with at the Equinox in Manchester, Vermont. And it was over 150 people, I believe. And what we did was we had the ice carving event. They wanted to be outside, but their cocktail hour was inside. So we did it through a time where they can come in and out as they please, but they were set in groups. So the groups can come out, they can work on their piece, they can go back in, they can have a cocktail, they would come walk around and eat, and then they can come back out. And we made it a full challenge. So there was a winner at the end. What we do is we have our staff member that starts with a full tutorial on how to do it, shows them how to do it, safety glasses are worn, it makes sure that they're not using chainsaws, let's put it that way. They're chiseling away at this ice, like old times. And then it's a great competition. And then you get to vote on your peers. It's fun.